everybody, it's Shay here. Um, welcome to this week's Whip and Chat. Um, Whip stands for, uh, it's W-I-P, stands for Work in Progress. And I apologize for sounding very hoarse, um, but unfortunately I was, I tested positive for the thing, you know, the thing that we cannot discuss. So I typically go about an hour, but because of my voice, I don't want y'all to have to listen to this for a whole long time. Um, but I miss you guys and I wanted to be able to catch up still. Um, I don't think I'll be able to go an hour, but we'll see how long we go. Okay. Um, go ahead and grab your whip, whatever you're working on and just work along with me and go ahead and grab something to drink, something to eat. I've got some uh, hot tea because I figured it would help my throat. Yeah, that's much better. <clears throat> um, so yes, today is Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all. And um, what a week, right? Boy, the funk, the funky monkeys have made their way into our house. Um, before we get into that, all that though, I wanted to um, ask how you guys are doing and hopefully y'all are being safe and everyone is healthy. And if you're not, let me, know, let me know down in the comments so we can commiserate together on our illnesses um, because this sucks, sucks pretty good. Um, the good news out of all of this is I was fully vaccinated. So um, I feel like the symptoms are um, maybe lesser than they could have been. It just feels like a um, really bad cold is the best way that I can describe it. Um, and it's mainly like in my lungs. Like walking up the stairs to come up here to the craft room, I was like totally out of breath. And so, yeah. All right, so hopefully y'all are doing okay and staying safe and haven't gotten the funk. We're just gonna call it the funk from now on because it feels pretty funky. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and cover what I'm using. Um, my whip that I'm working on is a diamond painting and this is a honey mermaid and she is upside down and let me make sure that y'all can see this let me stand up yeah so it's a diamond art club honey mermaid isn't she cute and it's around and it's a 56 by 71 I started this um January 1st so and today is the 12th so yeah I'm doing pretty good I got about two and a half rows left so I'm getting there, but it's really, really cute and it's working up really fast. Um, there's a lot of color blocking. And I know I've had some people, um, some people that are newer to diamond painting that have asked what is color blocking. That means that there's a lot of the same color all in one area. So you're not like constantly changing colors out, um, which can take a lot of time if you're constantly changing colors, right? So, sorry y'all, I may have to stop a few times to get some tea because my throat starts to feel dry. And I hope my sexy deep voice is not too distracting. <laughs> y'all, we gotta make fun of some of this. I hope it doesn't sound too bad and I hope it's not like nails on a chalkboard for y'all. Um, I just, I didn't want to miss my whipping chat. I've never missed a whipping chat. And I was like, this is not gonna be the first time. I am gonna fight through this. I'm okay. I can function. I'm still diamond painting, so why not diamond paint and catch up with y'all? Um, I can diamond paint for a little bit, and then I get tired, and then I'll just rest for a little bit, and then I come back to it. All right, so that's my painting I'm working on. I am using a Shea tray, and this is one of the trays that I've 3D printed, and um, hopefully I'll get to sell one day. Just a fun um, 3D printed tray. It's got a little charm in there, a diamond charm. This is a prototype. So yeah, I just thought it matched. I liked everything to match. And I do have a, um, a pen from Diamond Pen Pal. And it's got the flat sign, so it's a no roll stop. So you know, it doesn't roll. I love their pens. I am using um, Elizabeth Ward storage containers. So I've got this kitted up here and in these. There's only 25 colors, so just a lot of browns and oranges, and um, it's been really fun to work on. The more I work on her, she reminds me of my daughter, 
My daughter's got brown hair. My daughter, Lou, she's got, you know, brown curly hair. So this really reminds me of Lou. Um, yeah, I thought it was so cute. Um, what else am I using? Oh, I've got release papers from uh, Amazon, from Star Ore. And I'll, of course, have all these things listed down in the description. So if y'all are interested in any of these things, you can go pick them up. I'll have the links down below. All right, so I put my color away too fast and I thought I saw a couple stragglers, but now I don't see them. Okay, so let's just, um, let me grab my next color. Let me get this. See. So y'all be sure and tell me down below what y'all are working on. Uh, I'm not doing an event this month for anything. And an event is just a diamond painting community event where it's like everybody's working on the same painting or the same themed painting. Um, normally, there's several going on every month. And um, I decided not to do one this month, which is probably a good thing being I got sick because um, I haven't been diamond painting, you know, as much. So I'd be kind of behind on getting my canvas completed for an event. And thank God I'm not hosting an event because it'd be really hard to um, keep up with, you know, all the videos and just all the things. Plus, I contemplated even, you know, and I, again, I'm not, I'm going to go back and watch this and see what it sounds like. I don't want y'all to be hearing, you know, my nasty voice for like, you know, however long we go. So, but I just thought I would try. Um, it's bad because I don't, I don't feel that bad, but it sucks that my voice is all scratchy. So it's probably from just the coughing. Um, okay. So let's get caught up. Um, diamond painting related stuff. I like to talk about that first. Like I said, I'm not working on an event. This is just for fun. I love mermaids for those of you that are new. Um, I absolutely adore mermaids. So I have a lot of mermaid paintings and I just thought, you know, Hey, let's just do another mermaid. And I closed my eyes and I just kind of, I was telling everybody my last whip and chat, I've, you know, my stash, it's sometimes hard to choose which one to do. So I just closed my eyes and just kind of put my hand over my boxes and just boop. And I just picked this one. So and it was perfect because I just came off of one that was really confetti heavy. And uh, confetti heavy is, you know, there's a lot of colors, different colors. You have to keep changing out and it just takes longer. So this one's been perfect. Um, so what else diamond painting? Oh, I got an email this morning, which I'm very excited about. My uh, diamond art club, my pre-order, my Black Friday um, order is, sh is, sh is shipped. It shipped this morning. So um, I can't wait to get that. I only ordered one from the Black Friday releases. And um, just a lot of them weren't speaking to me. So I just was kind of, plus I have a hard time making decisions. And so I just thought, oh, I don't know which one I want. So I was being real picky and... So I just picked one. So y'all will see that unboxed. I hope I get it soon because I haven't seen anybody else unbox it. So that'd be kind of cool um, if you saw it here first. So we'll see. Um, I don't know when it's coming, if it shipped today. I don't know, it normally takes like, you know, three or four days after I get that email typically. So, yep. I won't tell y'all which one it is. You'll just have to wait and see. Yes, 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 yes. Um, there was an email that I want, or an email, there was a, uh, video that I wanted to put out on Tuesday. That was my plan before I got sick. I created the thumbnail for it and was all ready to film. And then boom, I got hit with this. Um, cause I like to plan out my videos for the week and I was so bummed out because I did not get a chance to put that out yesterday, but I just was not feeling good. Um, but what the video is or will be so be looking for it it's um the official announcement for mermaids and magic in march it's an event that it's a diamond painting community event that randy you can call me butter and i are going to be hosting and it's in march and it's going to be anything mermaids and anything magical and her and i had a call together and we just talked about all the details and i've been getting a lot of questions from a lot of folks and i thought it seems kind of early, but at the same time, I know everybody needs to order their paintings and, you know, kind of everybody wants to know all the ins and outs and all the details. So it was just going to be a quick little video um, explaining, 
you know, all the um, rules, if you will. I hate to call them rules, but, you know, all the details of how to enter and how to participate in the event. So um, once I start feeling better, I will definitely get that out as soon as I can. I just didn't want to sound like this, you know, in that video, because that's an important video. And some people might go back and watch that frequently to get the official, you know, the scoop. And I didn't want to be sounding like this uh, for people to watch over and over again, like in the future. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on that video, um, but hopefully I can get that out next week. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about our event. So, uh, but if you have any questions um, right now, be sure and email me or just send me a message on here in the comments and I'll be happy to answer any questions, but it's going to be straightforward. I mean, I would get into it now, but I'll wait till I do the video, but really, really straightforward. Just like any other event, there's nothing new and different. Um, you know, we just want it to be fun and not be, you know, not have a bunch of rules. So, all right, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else diamond painting related. Um, 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 um. Oh, I have an alarm going off. I'm gonna pause y'all for just a second. I gotta make a quick phone call, I'll be right back. All right, um, I needed to call um, the driving school to cancel Nate's driving lesson today. So, um, for tonight, let's go ahead and talk about the fam, y'all. Let's talk about what's been going on this last week. Um, it's been a little crazy. And I know it has been for a lot of people, y'all. 2022 is just like, I don't know what's going on, y'all. It's just crazy. Um, we need to get things going in the right direction. That's all I know. All right, so the last time we talked was um, last Wednesday slash Thursday. So I got a call from, okay, so here's how it all started. So Thursday morning, so when, no, I take that back, Wednesday afternoon, so when I talked to y'all last, Lou came home from school and she was complaining about her knee hurting. And she's had some knee problems in the past and we had taken her to a doctor and she had, um, she had like done something at school and she kind of hurt her knee a little bit. And so when she said that same knee was hurting again, I took it seriously. I was like, oh no. And whenever she would start to walk, it would hurt. So I told, and y'all, here's a little backup of kind of how all this stuff kind of started. So they've been on winter break um, for two and a half weeks for Christmas. And the kids all went back to school on Tuesday of last week. So they were at school Tuesday and Wednesday. So two full days, okay? And then everything came crashing down after two full days of school. Um, so I decided to let her stay home on Thursday and take her to an um, orthopedic doctor, a sports medicine doctor, and have um, x-rays done on her knee because she was in a lot of pain. So um, Thursday morning, I was able to make an appointment, and it's a doctor that we had taken the boys to before for different sports injuries, and they're really good. And so they were able to get us in in the morning. So Lou and I went and did that. And um, we wore our masks, of course. And while we were at that doctor's appointment, we were, in the, we were in the room waiting. And Lou kept like clearing her throat, like constantly over and over again, clearing her throat. And I was like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I just kind of have like a scratchy throat. My throat hurts a little bit. And I was like, okay. I didn't really think anything of it. And she started complaining about it feeling a little sore throughout the day. So uh, at the doctor's appointment, they did x-rays and she's got something called um, patella pain syndrome. And it's like, it's called a runner's knee. And it's where you can just kind of tweak your knee a little bit and, it, and you just have to let it heal. And there's really nothing you can do about it. And it happens a lot when they're growing and when they're going through puberty, or not puberty, but you know, when they're young. So, um, we got, so, you know, the doctor told us to just do ibuprofen, to ice it, da, da 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 We're like, okay. And he's like, she can go back to school tomorrow, but I don't want her doing any PE or any um, physical activities for a week. So they gave us a doctor's note uh, for her to be out of PE for the following week. We're like, okay, got it. So we head home 
get her kind of fixed up. She's kind of chilling. And then <clears throat> about 30 minutes later, I get a call from Nate. And he's like, Mom, I threw up at school. I was like, oh, no. I was like, he's, like, he's like, I'm in the nurse's office. I'm like, well, did you make it to the bathroom? And he's like, no, I threw up in the library in front of everybody. And it's all over me. It's like, oh, my gosh, y'all. How awful, you know? And I know he was embarrassed and just felt so bad for him. So I'm like, I'm just so glad we were home, you know? So I said, okay, I'll be there in a minute. So I rush up there, I pick him up, poor thing, it's all over, it's on a shoot, you know, it's just everywhere. So bring him home, you know, get him situated in our bedroom with towels and bowls and, you know, the whole nine yards. <clears throat> and um, he gets sick on and off like a few times, but not too bad. Um, so that went on that day. But then Lou progressively throughout the day on Thursday keeps complaining about her throat hurting. So I wake up Friday morning and um, Nate, Nate's on the couch and he's saying he's starving because y'all, he hadn't eaten anything all day on Thursday. So <clears throat> I thought it was a good sign that he was hungry. And so gave him something to eat and thank God he, he never got sick again. He was good. So I thought maybe it was just like a 24 hour like stomach bug because it was just that day. Well, Friday, Lou gets worse and worse and worse. And she's got this really bad sore throat and she starts coughing. And then, um, so Nate doesn't go to school Friday, okay? Then over the weekend, Lou is getting worse. And I'm like, okay, we need to go to the doctor and have you tested for the thing. So, um, and the rest of us are feeling fine at this point. So we take Lou in. I took her to the urgent care on Sunday and oh my gosh, y'all, we were there for about an hour, which is not bad. I know we've heard a lot of other people talk about having to get tested and be waiting like forever, but they were really, really, really good. And they got her tested. They test her. She's such a trooper. They tested her for strep in one nostril for the thing in the other nostril and for strep in her throat. They wanted to rule out everything and they wanted to see what was going on. So we do that and they send us back out into the waiting room because they said they didn't have any rooms available. And there was tons of people in the waiting room and everybody's hacking and coughing. I'm like, oh my God, if we don't have it, we're probably gonna get it now. I did not wanna go. That's why I kinda had put it off on, I was gonna take her Friday and then Saturday and I'm like, I don't want to, I mean, what if it's just a cold or what if it's just strep and we're gonna be, you know, getting our, you know, getting ourselves around people that are, that have the, the thing. And I was like, oh gosh, that's the last place I wanna go. But on Sunday, I knew I had to because she was progressively getting worse. She was complaining about not being able to breathe and that was really scary. And she kept asking me if she was gonna die. And then she would look at me and she's like, mom, help me. Y'all, it was heartbreaking. It was just heartbreaking. And so I am, um, like I said, we took her in. Um, and before we took her to the doctor on Sunday, she kept taking showers. She took about like 10 or 15 showers a day because taking a shower with the hot steam is the only way that she could breathe. So, yeah, so they took us back to the room um, while we waited for the results. And they came in and they told her she was positive for the thing and negative for flu and negative for strep. And we're like, oh my gosh. Y'all, now y'all, since Lou had been feeling bad, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, I had, I had been, I was exhausted because she was really being needy because she was sick. And I was sleeping with her and I was, you know, she was snuggling with me. I mean, you name it, I was there for her. And I thought, oh crap, I probably have it too. I mean, how could I not? You know, I was around her all the time. So once she got the positive um, results, I said to the nurse, I said, 
um, should I get, you know, should I get tested too while I'm here? And she's like, yeah, I would. She's like, do you have any symptoms? I'm like, um, my throat's a little scratchy, but not really, but maybe I'm asymptomatic, you know? So they did a test and it sucked really, really bad. Y'all, oh my God. I, I yelled out profanities afterwards because they were like digging in there. And I was talking about this on my live stream on Sunday. It was awful because I had it done Sunday morning. It was like fresh. I remembered what it felt like, but they were like, I, I swear they're nicer to kids. Cause Lou was like, mine wasn't bad. And she was making fun of me. She's like, your face was so funny. And then after they pulled out the, the thing from sticking all the way into my brain, I'm like, that sucked. B A L L S. <laughs> it was so painful. Um, it sucked and it sucked really bad. So um, we waited for about 30 minutes and uh, we were getting so tired of waiting and she didn't feel good. And here she is laying on the table and there's not even any paper because I guess they're out of paper. She's just laying on some bare table. So they come back and they say my results are negative. And I was like, wow, okay. But I didn't really have a whole lot of symptoms. So I was like, cool, maybe I, you know, because I am fully vaccinated, maybe I'm good. Now, the sad part about the vaccinations is Lou um, had received her first one um, a month and a half ago, and she, we were, she was scheduled to get her second one this week, actually tomorrow. Um, so I feel bad because I'm like, if I would have do it, if I would have done it sooner, her symptoms would have been, you know, easier, not as bad. She was in bad shape. And I was supposed to get my booster. Um, at the same time that she was getting hers, we were going to get them together. Well, I had to cancel those appointments, obviously. And, uh, so we go home and we're like, oh crap. So we put Lou in quarantine, right? We stick her in the, in the bedroom and my mom and dad were so sweet. They brought her flowers and popsicles and some toys and they were just awesome. They left him at the front door and, uh, all was good so she was just kind of you know taking it easy and um in her room on sunday well my husband said he started feeling kind of cruddy on sunday and i was like oh no and i did too a little bit but not bad i was like i'm fine i'm like it's just in my head i just know that she hasn't so maybe i'm thinking i have it and i'm just making up these symptoms total asymptomatic you know or um just psychosomatic just in my head so um Let's see, Monday rolls around and Nate says, he, we check Nate's temperature and he's got a fever. We're like, oh, okay, Nate probably has it. So we tested Nate and Nate came back positive. We have some home kits, some home kits that my husband was able to get. And so Nate tasted, tested positive. And my husband's like, I'm gonna test myself. And I, I was like, I don't need to be tested. I just got tested yesterday. I'm negative, I'm good. Y'all, I am good. I'm going to be the last man standing because Ryan's already had it. So we thought, and Ryan wasn't showing any symptoms at all, and he still isn't. So he's like the one that's like surviving this whole thing. And I don't know if it's because he's already had it. I don't know. But um, so my husband does his and it comes back negative. And y'all, it was almost like waiting for like a pregnancy test. Because on these tests, these home kits, it's like one line is negative and two lines is positive and you have to wait 15 minutes. And we're just like staring at the tests. I mean, just like a pregnancy test. It was so funny. So my husband's came out positive. And I was like, oh my God. And I kept, I, and they were all making fun of me because they were like, because after I tested positive, they were like, yeah, you were all talk. Because I kept saying, I don't, y'all. And after my test, it was like just one strip for like a really long time, one line. And I was like, I'm not positive. That second line's not going to come up. I'm good. Well, it did. Yeah, it, it, it came out. And I was like, oh, crap. Okay, well, now what? And Lou was like cheering. She's like, yay, I don't have to be quarantined by myself anymore. I can take my mask off. We can all run around together. Mom, I, I need a hug. So Lou was like very, very excited that she didn't have to be the only one by herself in her room for 10 days. 
So, um, I mean, she also said to me, she goes, mom, I'm happy that, you know, that I don't have to be quarantined by myself, but I'm sad that everybody got it. I'm like, no, I get it. I, I totally get it. You're fine. So, um, yeah. So we've just been, um, like I said, today's Wednesday. Um, Ryan, we've been keeping Ryan home. He hasn't shown any symptoms, but we're going to keep him home for five days because those are CDC guidelines if you've been in close contact with anyone. So we're going to keep him home from school this week. And uh, that way, just in case, you know, we don't want him spreading it to anybody. Being he's been around the four of us, you know, that have it. Um, I had to go pick up um, Lou's laptop from school today so she could do online learning. And that kind of sucked this morning because I had to call them and tell them I was also positive and they had to leave it outside on a bench. I feel like I have like leprosy or something, you know, but I get it. I don't need to be inside the school. So I just walked down there in my pajamas and I had my mask on. I just went out in front of the school and picked it up. But that's the first time I've been out um, in a couple days. Um, my parents, my mother-in-law, everybody's been just awesome asking us if we need any help. We've been, um, you know, using Uber Eats, of course, to, you know, get food. We've just been doing a lot of drive throughs Ryan, Ryan's been awesome. He went and got his food the other day. So um, we're, we're hanging in there, barely, but we're hanging in there. Um, I figured doing this today would make me feel normal. I don't want to just sit and lay in bed and sulk and, you know, I want to hang out with y'all. I want to do my videos. I, I look forward to doing all these things and saying I'm not going to do videos for a week. That's just not, that's just not me. Plus, I don't do well with, um, doing nothing. Mm-mm. I'm not good at that at all. I'm a planner. I'm a goer, a doer. I just, I can't just like, but I have been sleeping a lot. I went to bed last night at 10 and I woke up this morning at 9.30. And then yesterday I slept till 11. And again, went to bed about 10.30. So I've been sleeping a lot like at night. So I'm not really like having a nap during the day, which is good because I'm not a napper. Um, I've tried, but it just doesn't work. So, um, but yeah, I'm just, can't really do anything. Other, I, I've been waking up with headaches. So I've just been taking some ibuprofen because I have been running a fever on and off. So, um, and been taking cold medicine here and there, but there's really nothing you can do. You know, I asked the nurse that, you know, when we found out Lou was positive, I'm like, is there anything we can do? She's like, not really. Just Tylenol you know, um, ibuprofen, any like, you know, decongestant, if you're congested. But there's really nothing you can do, unfortunately. But it just feels like a bad cold. So, but we're getting through it. Um, what else has been going on, y'all? Um, like I said, I did my live on Sunday and it was so fun. It was my first live in my craft room, so for those of y'all that might be new, um, I got a craft room in our house. My husband had it built. Um, we had a space upstairs in our house that was a, they were calling it a game room. And it was just a big open, big open room. And I guess it's meant for like a pool table or like couches and a chair, like a hangout area. Um, but mainly it was being used for Lou to like leave her toys everywhere. And so, and I've been diamond painting and doing all my filming and all that in our bedroom against the wall, like next to our bed, which was fine. And it was working out good. But my husband's like, what if we, you know, put a wall up in this, this game room area and made a little room for you, a little closet. And then we would have a little hallway out in the hall. And I was like, are you serious? He just like had the idea one day. Oops. And, um. I'm trying to remember how long ago I started talking about this. Maybe, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. I don't know when the plans actually started. It's been maybe about six months or so. Um, maybe when we first started talking about it. And yeah, it happened. 
So it's not, we're not done yet. Um, there's still a couple things that they have to come and, and fix. You know, as always with construction, there's always something, right? Um, I just put new glue dots on my pen and they're like trying to steal my ABs. So I'm fighting with them a little bit. Come on. Yeah, they're a little too sticky. Sorry, I've got to concentrate for a second. I'm trying to get these off my pen. Get off. Okay, I think I'm good now. All right. Um, yeah, so the craft room, and hopefully there's not an echo in here. This is my first um, whip and chat. It doesn't sound too echoey, so I think it's getting better. Um, all I have in here right now is this desk that I'm working on. My husband got me a desk, and it's so cool, y'all. There's a, there's a crank on the side of the desk, and you can lower it or raise it, so it's adjustable, which I think is really cool, because if I do, he was thinking, like, if I do unboxings, and because I stand up when I do unboxings or openings of anything, and then I could have it high, right, where I'm stand, when I'm standing, and then I can lower it when I'm sitting and doing whipping chats or just diamond painting. So I've been having a really good time. Um you know, with this table, but it's the only thing in here right now. We have, um, and then of course I have two big tubs of, God, y'all, I'm really struggling. I've got two big totes of all my diamond paintings and all my accessories and all my stuff over here in the corner. Um, but we do have an L-shaped desk that, uh, that's gonna go up here. My um, husband was uh, closing down one of his factories for work and they had some extra desks that were available for anyone that wanted them. So I've got an L-shaped desk and it's super heavy. That's why we haven't moved it up here yet. We're dreading it. And obviously with us all being sick right now, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, but I figured um, that'll go in the corner. <laughs> and the L-shaped desk is where I'll do like my um, editing and you know, all that kind of stuff. So, but this will be for diamond painting, this desk will be my unboxings. Um, live streams. Uh, if you do watch the live stream on Sunday, my husband on Sunday, or maybe it was Saturday, he was so sweet. He hung up some diamond paintings on the walls. So it's really looking like a craft room now. It's crazy because that's, it's kind of silly too, but that's one of the things I was probably most excited about having my own craft room was being able to hang up some of my paintings on the wall. Because, you know, I have most of them in art portfolios and I had one hanging up on our bathroom and I had some others framed, but they weren't hung up. So I was just kind of hoping that it would happen one day. So um, yeah, so we have that L-shaped desk that's gonna go up here in the corner. And then in the other corner, we've got a big cabinet that was already in the, the playroom slash game room that we had before, that this used to be. And it's just a big, it's just a big, um, I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's just a big cabinet. And it's got big doors that open up, it's got shelves. So um, it, that's where I'll store my diamond paintings. And then we have a closet in here. And we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the 3D printers. <coughs> excuse me. We have the um, 3D printers for the trays. And we have five of those. And in the closet, that's, we've got all the outlets in there and that's where we're gonna be putting the 3D printers. So that way, <clears throat> let me get that up and running. I can manage the 3D printers while I'm up here and make sure those are running. So yeah, there's like a lot of stuff going on. You know, it's one step at a time. We had to get the craft room up first. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm struggling. These are just not sticking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying not to hack and cough and do all the nasty things while I'm talking to y'all. Um, but yeah, we got the um, shelving for the 3D printers for the closet in here. Um, but we had them custom ordered. They're alpha shelving and they come from the container store. And the measurements were wrong because the header rail that the shelves go on is not long enough. So my husband went to install it the other night and it doesn't fit. It's not the right size. I'm like, shit. So we have to go. I called the container store yesterday and they're cutting us a new bracket. So that's kind of undone too. So there's all like a, there's a lot of undone things, which is kind of driving me crazy. But I'm really trying to be patient. I'm really trying, trying, trying to be patient. 
I, I don't like to wait. Like I said, I, I like to be busy. I like to get things done. And I just, I can't, I mean, I guess I have to be realistic. Not all, not all things are going to happen when I want them to happen. I don't want to be like a spoiled brat over here. You know, I should be thankful that I even have a craft room, right? Everything will get put up, put away in its place. It'll all get, it'll all be where it needs to be eventually. You know, we just, and especially with coat, you know, with this, with the thing, it set us back a little bit, but that's okay. We just need to rest and get better and it'll all work itself out. But um, when it's all done, I'll give you all a tour when it looks, you know, when I have furniture in here. I also added a little rug under the table that I'm using. Um, also, the table that I'm using is on wheels. So it's super cool because you can just like wheel it around the room depending on like the lighting that I want to use. Like if I want to be against the windows, I can just like wheel it over there. And that was my husband's idea. He is so good. He's so creative and he's great at decorating. He's the one that, like I said, hung up my paintings and he was the one that's like, he has, he's a really good eye for like decorating and how, you know, he's so good. He's really, really good. So <clears throat> he's a jack of all trades. He's super handy. He can decorate. He's a great gift giver. I could go on and on about him, y'all. He's just like, I really, really lucked out. <clears throat> I surely did. All right. I am almost done with her face. Yeah, I'm getting there. I mean, I know she's upside down, but still, I just have to do her lips. But her lips are like several different colors, so I thought I would wait. And uh, that's a little bit of confetti. All right. What else, y'all? Um... I feel like all I've been talking about is just the sicknesses. Surely there's got to be something else that's been going on around here. Oh, Daisy. I haven't been giving y'all Daisy update. Daisy is um, Lou's hamster. And for those of you that are new, um, Lou is my nine-year-old daughter. Like I said, this looks like Lou. My nine-year-old daughter got a um, hamster for Christmas. And she's only held her twice. And she bit her. So she's afraid to hold her now. And I've held her about three times and she's never bit me. Now, now if you stick your hand in there, she has nibbled on my finger before and got me. And I kind of shook her off my finger. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I want to get her over the fear of, you know, the hamster biting her. Because she's not even like petting her or holding her or giving her any attention. So I think the novelty has wore off. My husband's like, I told you, just like all the other pets, she wants it at first and then she ignores it. So it started off with the fish, right? She wanted a fish really bad and we got her a beta. She ignored the fish and it became like my fish, right? I had to take care of it and clean the tank and everything. And then now <clears throat> it's the, um, then it was the frogs. I got her some little water frogs, African dwarf frogs, and I'm the only one that feeds the frogs. Okay, let's see, has that been it so far? And then it was the hamster. <clears throat> now she really wants a rabbit, and we did not do a rabbit. That's just a whole nother thing. But the hamster, y'all, she was all about the hamster at first. I mean, like, I'm not saying she's not, but she only talks about it whenever I bring it up. So I like, I want to hold it. I think I like it more than she does. I think it's super cute. And so, I don't know. I don't think she's loving it. Yeah, I don't think she's loving the hamster. So, but that's okay. Right? I mean, they're really low maintenance. I have to, I have to give it that. It's super low maintenance. You don't have to do much. Um... Doesn't have to fill up the bowl very often, I mean, like once a week. The water is like once a week. We haven't changed, well, my mother-in-law has changed out the cage twice because Lou had a sleepover over there after Christmas and they, they cleaned out her cage. And then they cleaned out the cage after they'd been watching her before Christmas because I had her over there. So, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad to change out the bedding at the bottom. But I'll tell y'all what, these hamsters are crazy. They're nocturnal, which I didn't realize that. Um, but she's got a wheel and she runs and runs and runs and runs and runs 
all night long on the wheel. My husband's like, I think she's training for a marathon. How, how can they just go and run and run all night long? It's amazing the type of energy that this hamster has. Now, um, it is a dwarf hamster, so it's real, real tiny. But I told Lou, I said, you know, we need to hold her more. I think in order, in order for us to get, like for her to get used to us and for her to maybe get used to being held, I don't know if that's the right strategy. I don't really know. I'm not a hamster expert. But I mean, I'm thinking it could work, you know? Let me see what symbol number three is. Three is the dash. Oh, what are threes? Sorry, y'all. Oh, 666. Six, six. Yeah, I'm switching out. Um, if y'all can see what I'm working on. I know a lot of people don't watch, but um, I had a few ABs in my stash. I had uh, 321 and 666 in my diamondpaintingdrills.com box, my variety box. And so I thought it'd be cool to add those ABs. It didn't, it didn't come with them, but um, I thought it would look pretty in her lips to have a little extra sparkle. Yeah. So um, I normally feel like I've got more to catch up on y'all. But like I said, it's just been like a sick ward around here. Um, you know, it's kind of been wah, wah, wah. I mean, at least I feel, I feel better talking to y'all. I have to say, this has been good to talk and to not just be quiet and keeping to myself and being all sad <laughs> and it feels good to laugh a little bit it does feel good to laugh and I really sure do hope that my scratchy sexy deep voice has not been too bad to listen to um what else I didn't take notes I normally take notes y'all um stuff that's coming up I have got an unboxing that I filmed before I got sick, the day before I started feeling bad. So um, that will be going up. That That's one that can go out. Um, I just need to do the thumbnail for it. So I'll do that. And then, but yeah, the good news is I filmed that before I got sick. So I've got one in the queue, one that I can put up. I don't really bulk film. I don't bulk film, so I don't have a lot that I can put out there for y'all that have already been filmed. I pretty much, I don't like to do that because I like things to be current. And I pretty much, like I said, I'm pretty much on a schedule and I film something and then I put it out. I film it, I edit it, and I put it out the next day. I don't really do a lot of filming like a week in advance, two weeks in advance. I don't really do that. I mean, I've done it a couple times maybe, but that's not my norm. So, um... Y'all, look how cute she looks. Look at her little shiny lips. Oh, I missed some three tens over here. I better grab those real quick. But yeah, I was so happy when I peeled off this section and I saw that it was um saw that it was gonna be her face. I was like, yay! Some people save the face for last. I've never done that. I don't know. I just don't feel like I just don't want to, I just have a system, you know? I kind of go in order. And I wouldn't want to skip a square. That would just be weird for me. It's like my OCD. There has to be an order of things, you know? Um, I was going to let y'all know that if you haven't listened to uh, Rachel Ray, her last Whip and Chat was really, really good. I just listened to it um, a couple days ago. I think it was yesterday. And it was really, really good. And for those of you, especially that are creators, they're listening right now. You should go check out that whip and chat. She's so supportive and so sweet. And she had a really good message for, you know, creators and how we're human. And um, I guess she had done an, an ASMR video and a lot of people were critiquing. I shouldn't even say critiquing. It sounds like it was worse than that. I didn't look, I didn't see the comments, but it sounds like <clears throat> a lot of people weren't being very nice about the video. And she just wanted to reiterate that, you know, we're just people, you know, just trying to make videos for y'all and teach you guys stuff and keep you entertained and, you know, all the things and just be part of the community. And unless, I mean, she really, she made a really good point. She's like, unless 
we ask or she she were to ask for your opinion, you know, just keep on moving, you know? And I'm fortunate enough because she's a lot bigger than I am, y'all, and I know that's why. But I have been really, really fortunate enough to not get a whole bot, a bunch of negative comments. I mean, yeah, I've had them before. I mean, no doubt, we all have. But um, she's so big, but I can't imagine, you know, some of the ones that she probably gets sometimes. And she was saying they're hurtful. And, you know, we are we're just regular people. And she was just kind of talking about, you know, just be nice, basically, was kind of the bottom line. And I, so if you're a creator and you're watching this, um, go watch Rachel Ray's video. It was a really good reminder to folks and also to creators just to, you know, know that there's other people that are trying to, you know, help us out out there. Small, big, you know, because she, she's big. So not that she watches my videos, but Rachel, I did leave her a comment and I told her thank you. But if for some crazy reason she's watching my video, um, thank you, Rachel. Yeah, thank you very much um, for just reminding people to be nice. So yeah, there's no reason to leave a nasty comment, you know? But like I said, I've been pretty lucky lately. Um, I was telling my husband last night, I was really bummed out because yesterday was Tuesday for me. And I had on my calendar to put that Mermaids and Magic official announcement video out Tuesday, film my whip and chat Wednesday, put my whip and chat video out Thursday, and I had like a full schedule for this week. And I told him last night I was so upset and really bothered and just mad that I couldn't do my Tuesday video and that I sounded like this. Um, he's like, don't beat yourself up. And I was like, well, I was checking my subscriber count, which I should not be checking it, y'all. I told myself I wasn't going to be looking at that stuff anymore. Uh, but it comes up. Even if you go look at your comments to answer comments, it just comes up. So you can't even avoid it. I'm not looking at my analytics. It just comes up. And it's just like big staring at you in bright numbers. And I lost two subscribers. And I was all, and I was all bummed out. And I was like, it's because I'm not being consistent with my videos. He's like, please <laughs> stop. He's like, you're fine. And then I lost a Patreon. And I was like, why did I lose a Patreon? He's like, honey, if it's just one person or two, it's not a big deal. Now, if it's a whole bunch, that's just, you know, that may be a different story. He's like, but you're fine, you know? You're sick, you gotta get well. I was like, I know, I know. But this is my family, these are my friends, you know, this is my, I don't wanna say my job, but it is a job, I, and then I like my job. This is what I enjoy doing and I want to keep doing it and I don't want to have to take a day off, you know? So it just kind of sucked. And that's why I thought, I don't want to skip my whip and chat. I just don't want to. I know I sound like crap, but I don't want to. I want to still put my video out. I don't want to miss a week of not talking to y'all, you know? So um, I guess that's going to be it. I don't know how long I've been going. And I didn't think this would be my regular hour because I know it's been hard to talk and I have to like keep catching my breath. And plus, like I said, I don't know what y'all are having to, whoops, I just shook my camera. I don't know what kind of scratchy, I'm calling it my very white voice. It's my sexy deep voice. Um, but that may not be very attractive to y'all to have to listen to for long. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let y'all go. Um, so yeah, just let me done, you know, just let me know how you're doing. I'd love to read your comments. Um, hopefully your year's getting off to a good start and y'all are okay. Just let me know how you're feeling. Um, and if you have already subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. Y'all mean the world to me and I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't subscribed and this is your first time stopping by, um, obviously this is not my normal sound. Um, but I am very consistent and uh, I do follow through with my commitments. So I wanted to um, do this for myself and for y'all. So um, so if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I would absolutely love to have you. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed just catching up with me and got some work done, please give me a thumbs up. And, and go, after you subscribe, if you haven't subscribed yet, after you subscribe, go ahead and ring that bell because if you ring that bell, you'll be notified whenever I post up a video. And I post up a video about every other, every other day, every two days is about my average. And like I said, I do do live streams. Uh, I do do. I go live on Sundays, every Sunday from four to five Central Standard Time. 
Um, hopefully I'll be able to go uh, live this Sunday. I'm sure I'll be feeling better by then. I don't see why not. I mean, today's only Wednesday, so um, let's keep our fingers crossed. And I'll, I'll if, if I don't go live, I'll definitely put um, an, a, something on my community post that says I'm not going to be going live. But my friend Randy, um, you can call me Butter. She should be going live from 5 to 6 cent Central Standard Time this Sunday. So if, if for some reason I'm not online and I'm sick, go check her out because she'll be there to, to hang out with y'all after me, after my slot. Okay, um, I think that's it. I love y'all. Um, take care and um, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.